Welcome to the FX Masterclass, and my name is Ernest Rowe. And today's topic is the FX Maverick with the dual regulator. All right, dual regulator. I never heard of it. I never seen a gun that has it. But anyway, let me describe you what it does. All right, let's say I'm assuming the bottle is 250 bars and the first regulator is going to take all that force and trying to reduce it. So it's taking the brunt of the force, right? And reducing it more steady flow for the next regulator, the final reg. So you will maintain, let's say, 30 to 35 bars between the first and second regulator. So this is more constant to feed the final regulator. Let's say when you shoot a lot of shot string, you notice your shot string is a little, I say, more efficient. The string spreads a little tighter, 150, 180 bars. You see that little tightness? So that's what that is. You want to keep a constant pressure to the second regulator so it'll be more consistent. It'll last longer. It doesn't absorb all the 250 bars and trying to reduce it. So it's feeding, it's getting fed by the first regulator at a slower pressure so I have a string spread and more air efficient it will last longer. All right, so let me show you how to adjust it properly so you minimize kind of damaging it or you're not getting the, uh, the benefit of it. First thing we want to see what the first regulator is going to read or where you want to set it at. All right, we want to bypass the second regulator. We want to open the regulator up until the adjustment screw is flush. All right, we're gonna open that up. You can hear whining. When you don't hear anything whistling by, I mean it's fully open. Now we're gonna adjust the first regulator to 175 bars or so. It's going up, about right there. Now, we're gonna bleed off the pressure so we could uh, bleed the pressure here and so we could uh, reduce the second regulator down to 150 bars, all right? So, bleed, the, bleed it. That's the first reg regulator now, the second one, because it still shows that pressure there. When you get below, let's say 50 bars, we could screw this in. There's no resistance, you're bleeding pressure. And we'll screw it in before we lose a lot of air. Now we want to set the second regulator. Right now is at the 60 bars. We're going to increase it to 150 because we're going for high power. Let me go back here, flip it. Yeah, you can see the gauge. Counterclockwise to increase. You hear it opening up, increasing the reg pressure. It's about 80, 100. About 150. After you shoot it, it might go down a little bit so you could uh, take it back up to 150. There you go. Both regulators set and we got ready to tune it. 